Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to crochet these cute little bows. This will be a beginner's tutorial, so I will be going slow and explaining in detail. The materials you'll need for this pattern or this project is a hook of your choice, some yarn, a darning needle, and some scissors. Keep in mind that the bigger hook you have, the bigger the bow will be, and the smaller hook you have, the smaller it will be. So let's begin. To start making our bow, we're going to start with a slip knot and we will start chaining. The number of chains doesn't really matter. You can chain however many you like. The bigger your chain is, the bigger your bow will be, and the smaller your chain is, the smaller it will be. So we're going to start off by chaining. To chain, we're going to grab our yarn from the bottom, like that, twist your hook, and pull it through the loop. And we're going to keep doing that. That's how you make a chain. Make sure your chain is loose because we will be working in these later. So loose would be like you can move it around your hook a little. So once again, grab your yarn like this, twist your hook, and pull it through. Grab your yarn, twist your hook, and pull it through. Grab your yarn, twist your hook and pull it through. Continue doing this until you have your desired length for your bow and I will meet you at the end. So I've gotten my chain ready. So the length of your bow is going to be if you fold your chain, this is how big your bow is going to be. So you have your row of chains you divide it in half and that's going to be the length of your bow. Okay, so we're going to join to our first stitch. So make sure your row doesn't have any twists or turns. Make sure it's completely straight. And find your first chain, insert your hook into that chain, like so. That's my last one and this is my first one. And we're going to grab some yarn and pull through. We're not going to slip stitch. Instead, we're going to be doing a single crochet. So we have two loops on our hook. We're going to grab our yarn and pull through both of them. And now we're just going to be single crocheting all around this, um, this round. So insert your hook into your next available chain and grab some yarn, pull through, grab some yarn, and pull through too. That's our single crochet. So insert your hook into the very next chain, like so. Grab some yarn, twist your hook, pull through. You have two loops on your hook, and grab some more yarn and pull through both of them. Insert your hook into the next available chain, grab some yarn, grab some more yarn, and pull through. Just continue doing that until you get to the very end. I will meet you when I finish with my round. Okay, so I'm here at the end. And it might look a little weird. Because this side is like facing the bottom and then this side's facing the top. It's not even. But that's fine. We're going to be covering that up at the very end. So you don't have to worry about that. So the rest of the rounds that we're going to be doing are going to keep consisting of single crochets. You're just going to continue making it until you have your desired length. So this area with this weird bump at the bottom will be the back side, so you don't have to worry about it once again. So to continue, you just insert your hook into your next single crochet. So we have two loops at the very top. We have two loops at the very top, you're going to insert your hook into both of them, grab some yarn, pull through, you have two loops on your hook, grab some more yarn, and pull through. And you're going to go into your next single crochet, there are two loops right here, you're going to insert your hook into both of them, grab some yarn, pull through, grab some more yarn, and pull through both. Continue doing this in rounds until you have your desired length for your bow. And I will meet you when I'm done with my length. Okay, so I've gotten my desired length for my bow. And as you can see, I ended 
in kind of the same area where I started. So this, where your tail is, that's where you started, and this is where I ended. You should end in the same place, because then when we finish up, we won't be able to see these little bumps at the top. So to finish, we are going to insert our hook into our yarn and insert our hook into the next available single crochet and make a slip stitch. Chain one and cut a long, very long strand of yarn. And then just pull it through tight. Okay, and now we're going to make what's going to make this look like a bow. So we can cut the bottom part of our yarn shorter, about halfway, so about that much. And just tuck it in on the inside of our bow. Grab your yarn and you can start wrapping it forward or backward. It doesn't matter. I'm going to start wrapping it forward. But first we fold it a little. In the center, pinch it. Fold it in the back, like so. Pinch it, or this is the front, this is the back. Fold it in the front like that, fold it in the back. Grab your yarn and start wrapping. And keep in mind that this piece of yarn has to stay inside so we don't see it. You can just wrap over it, like so. And keep wrapping it until you think that it looks like a bow or you think it's wrapped enough so for me about that much is good so this is my front of my bow and this is the back of my bow now we're going to grab our darning needle <coughs> excuse me and we're going to Grab the end of our yarn and insert it into our darning needle and just tie it once. You can tie it. I usually tie mine. <coughs> Excuse me. And what you're going to do is you're going to, this is the back part, we're going to insert our darning needle in through the back loops like so and just pull it through the other way. So like that and do it you can do it a few times but you really just need to do it twice like so and you can use the rest of this yarn to tuck it into a project like if you're making a beanie you can tuck this on your beanie but that's pretty much how you make this tiny little bow thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video